Good evening, I'm Emily Scarlett. New at 6, Columbia police are investigating a shooting that happened outside of a child's birthday party. Police say that happened around 1 p.m. at the Little Gym in the 4400 block of Rosewood Drive. According to officials, two people began arguing inside during that party when the argument moved outside where one person was shot in the upper torso and taken to the hospital. Their condition is unknown at this time. One person was also taken into custody for questioning. Be sure to check the WIS TV website for updates on this story as we learn more. Also new tonight, a kayaker was pulled from the Congaree River near the Gervais Street Bridge. This afternoon around one, officials with the Columbia Fire Department say that the person's kayak had overturned and that they were rescued near Catawba Street. The person was treated by emergency crews. Their injuries are unknown at this time. Then later in the day, another kayaker also flipped over. They're also out of the water and expected to be okay. Good news for Chick-fil-A lovers. The Five Point store is giving you extra time to enjoy that famous chicken sandwich. The store will be doing a trial run on Friday, January 18th to stay open until 3 a.m. And if successful, they plan to keep the late night hours every Friday during the fall and spring school semesters. A company spokesperson says they want to give customers more choices for late night dining. Saturday business hours will stay the same. That's 6.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. and they will still be closed on Sundays. New details tonight in the case of a Richland County deputy suspended after a DUI. We're getting our first look at 28 year old deputy Justin Griner. Sheriff Leon Lott says Griner was off duty when he was arrested by Highway Patrol. He's currently being held at the Lexington County Detention Center. Griner has been employed with the Richland County Sheriff's Department for about a year now. Tonight, we're learning that nearly 140 employees with Palmetto Health and Palmetto Health USC Medical Group will be laid off. A spokesperson for the hospital system says pressures to reduce expenses and improve efficiency are the reasons why. 70 employees were already laid off on January 3rd. They're being offered a severance package and assistance in obtaining other positions. A statement from Palmetto Health reads, these changes were made with attention to minimizing impact on patient care. We value all the contributions each affected team member has made to our team and to the patients we serve. Palmetto Health recently merged with Greenville Health System and will become Prisma Health sometime early this year. Well, that rain has finally ended and there were even reports of something shiny in the sky today. Meteorologist Kevin Arnone is here with your first alert forecast. Kevin, it's been a while since we've seen a day like today. Do you know how long it's been? I couldn't find my sunglasses today. I looked all over the house for them, could not find them. We haven't used them in so long, but we're certainly going to be needing them the next few days. We're talking about plenty of sunshine, beautiful sunset happening right now across uh, Palmetto State, I'll tell you, it's going to be a nice next few days. We're talking temperatures flirting with 70 degrees. Today we are in the 60s, 54 degrees out there right now. Winds finally starting to relax a little bit. West about 7 miles per hour. Earlier today we were talking gusts to around 30 miles per hour. And that wind chill actually, you felt it a little bit, but now you can see that it feels like temperature actually just about where it should be, uh, right where the air temperature is. So Current temperatures out there right now, mostly in the mid to upper 50s, about 56 St. Matthews, 59 Columbia, 55 Winsboro, about 54 in Lexington. And temperatures tonight will be dropping down eventually into the lower 40s with clear skies. That's typical for this time of the year. You can see first alert radar, really no weather issues at all. We're going to be quiet. We are going to be dry the next few days because high pressure is in control of our weather. So that means some nice weather really right through all of next week. We're going to be talking about a big warm up, but then followed by a big cool down by the end of the week into the weekend. Of course, we're going to talk about that coming up. First Lord, seven day forecast. Okay. Good stuff. I still have my sunglasses. Thanks, Kevin. Today was media day as the Tigers prepare to take on the Crimson Tide. Tons of fans were out watching the fun on the field in San Jose, California. That's where sports director Rick Henry joins us from right now. Rick, how's Clemson looking so far? Hello, Emily. Well, we're at Playoff Fan Central here in San Jose where they have all types of fun activities for the fans, including this football field behind me where some young kids are showing off 
their football skills. And one of the big items for Clemson and Alabama today, media day. Each team had a one-hour session where reporters asked them all kinds of questions about Monday's big game and whatever topic happened to be thrown out there. Now, media day was held at the SAP Center in San Jose, which is also the home of the National Hockey League team, the San Jose Sharks. The coaches, Clemson's Dabo Sweeney and Bama's Nick Saban, were placed at podiums along with four players from each team. Now, even Media Day has the feel of a sporting event. As fans are allowed to watch from the stands, they got to hear things like Dabo talking about seeing his first tumbleweed and Saban even praising the media. We don't have tumbleweeds in Alabama or South Carolina. We're coming down the road on a bus and this huge, like, ball of sticks. That's the only way I can. That's why just comes right at the bus. And I'm like, what the heck is that? And he says, that's a tumbleweed. And uh, anyway, I thought those were just like in Roadrunner or uh, the movies or something. I know that sometimes the media thinks that um, I'm not especially fond of what you do, but I really do appreciate what you do uh, in more ways than you know. Uh, because you do bring a lot of attention to our sport. Uh, you create a lot of interest in our sport. Now you see these kids playing behind me. I think maybe Dabo and uh, Coach Saban have already offered one or two of them scholarships because there's some talent out there on that field. Now Dabo is really excited about seeing a tumbleweed. And you know what? Now that's one of my goals before I leave California. I'll be back later in sports with much more of what happened at Media Day, reporting live from San Jose, California, Rick Henry, WIS News 10 Sports. You know, I don't know if I've ever seen tumbleweed either. Thanks for that, Rick. Kickoff for that game will be this Monday at 8 p.m. You can watch it on ESPN. And in your crime alert tonight, Columbia police are still looking for suspects in a shooting on New Year's Eve. Police released these surveillance pictures of a car, possibly a light colored Nissan or Toyota. They say two suspects may have been inside that car, which is connected to the shooting at a home on McRae Street. 25 year old Trayon Davis was killed in that shooting. Investigators believe the shooting happened during an armed robbery. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 1888 Crime SC. The Orangeburg County Sheriff's Office has arrested a man wanted in a sexual and physical assault that happened last September. 25 year old Michael Corbett of Springfield is facing charges of criminal sexual conduct as well as assault and battery. Deputies say that on September 23rd, witnesses say they saw a woman in a car screaming and waving for help before being thrown into a roadway in Springfield. Deputies say the woman had multiple injuries and had been sexually assaulted. On Friday, bond was set for Corbett at $16,000. All right, it's going to be a beautiful stretch of weather. We're talking temperatures warmer than where we should be for this time of the year, but then a big cool down comes for the end of the week where temperatures actually getting below where we should be. We'll talk about it coming up.